first thing that's important to do in, in, in getting the opening movement in young style is, and I'm going to throw in some things because some of you have studied movement style uh, as well, and so I may compare some things to that as I go along just to <coughs> give you an idea of some of the differences. When you're first learning the opening movement in young style, you're basically trying to create lifting in your arms and floating through sinking your lower body. So there's an initial sense that you have to be sinking and dropping through the entire time your arms are moving. And what lots of times tends to happen is people will do something like this. They'll drop and then they'll move their arms. I'm kind of exaggerating. But what you want to be doing is you actually want to sink, keep sinking as long as your arms rise. And the simple reason for that is if you just stand for a minute, just in a parallel stance, and your feet and your arms should be at least slightly wider than the width of your shoulders. And just completely allow your arms to relax. And then just sink your body up. Drop it. What you'll notice is there's a natural tendency for your arms to float slightly. Initially, you want to cultivate that flotation. You want to try to figure out how, by sinking your body, you get the most float in your arms. So that your arms are doing the least possible effort. It's coming from the sinking. And the stronger you sink, the more float you generate. At first, it's not uncommon to have a float in other business way here. That would be pretty normal. It's pretty hard to get on by shoulder height without inducing tension into your body. At first, you're trying to really just get floating to come from a sink. And I'm going to work on, we'll work on that transition from Back when you're back like the forward legs, it might help you with that a little bit. And because it's an important piece that I also didn't see that people were really nailing. Right. And if you're going from from press to push, here at this point, when I'm on a back leg, if you there's kind of something that happens with my pelvis and hips that almost mimics what the hands are doing. And in fact, really what it does is it really moves the hands. But, I mean, but you can see it in my hands, you just can't see it in the pelvis. So it's a little bit easier to watch to get an idea. But this dropping here, my lower back is dropping and extending down <clears throat> under. And it sits, it goes far enough until I actually really feel the root go into my front foot, although no weight has transferred. So the idea here is you're going to end up with a movement that's really going to be unbroken from the ground. So here, now it's from the front foot. And as I close into the front foot, I'm coming down and under. Then I open into the actual arm, pushing down under these if I go out. But it's that transition off the back foot that's very important because otherwise you go to your back foot and you break. You start up again and go forward. And in fact, what you want to do is you want to have this, this closing and sinking that happens all the way through the back foot. And if you look at my spine when I do this, I'm not doing this, and this is what I stop people doing. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then straightening out. You see what's happening there is basically most of the <clears throat> bowing is happening from my gun chin mm -hmm. up. Instead of really being driven by the bowie in the lower spine, the upper spine just balancing. Okay, put fingers there. Mm -hmm. Oh, hockey. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. So that's what I that's what I want you to have to work on a little bit. So I want you to try to correct that. So when you go onto your back leg and you're going to make the transition forward, then you really continually sink and tuck 
will, and, you, and you, like, you feel my front foot, you'll feel a distinct point where it changes. Coming back. And you, you really want to get a sense of like your tailbone is driving into your front foot before you shift weight into it. Okay? Is that different from other, for instance, in rollback? No, no, it's not different. The thing that's different here is when we're on our back leg here, we're not doing an intermediary opening movement back here. So we're doing one continuous close from the front foot back into the front foot. Close, close, close up. Yeah. Okay. That's what's different. 